you've probably seen or watched these entertaining films and television series and despite the language barrier, it became popular and dominates the film industry, proving how good it is. Even the number one, the best TV streaming movies in the world, Netflix, are investing which said it would invest 550 billion won, 463 million US dollars. In Korean content in 2021 won the Korea image stepping stone bridge between Korea and the world. I am one of those people who became addicted to and there was a time when I woke up I would immediately grab my phone and watch Korean dramas until midnight. Once I finished a series, I would add it to my watch list in Korean drama. I got so much love to it to the point that I got curious about how it started so I might as well share it to you guys. Korean drama began in May 1956 with the film Death Row Prisoner, directed by Choi Chang Bong. The genre rose in popularity through the 1960s and 70s with the growth of Korean broadcasting companies and began showing on color television in 1981. In the 1990s and 2000s, youth-oriented soap opera-style Korean dramas took hold and pushed the Korean dramas drama genre into the international sphere. They have since contributed to the worldwide spread of Korean culture known as the Korean wave. Personally, I prefer the beginning of 2010 because that I think that is the golden era of Korean drama for me only. In every year it improves and there is no limit to it. And in my opinion, Korean drama can become mainstream despite the language barrier.